I live in Nashville. By now you've heard about the flood. By now you know that Kenny Chesney and Keith Urban lost a lot. You've heard about Opryland and the Grand Old Opry. And you've seen the stunning images of downtown and our football stadium submerged. What you haven't seen is the hundreds of other small neighborhoods just like mine. Thousands, really, if you factor in the 30 counties in Tennessee that have been declared a federal disaster. 30 counties. Did you know that? The destruction of this flood is massive. There are rumors as why we didn't get the coverage. People say it's because it wasn't in the poorest parts of Nashville. But that's not really true. It most certainly was. People say it was because we didn't go crazy and have a lot of looting, stealing, and rioting. I like to chalk that up to our city officials, police department, and firemen who worked 12-hour shifts 24 hours a day. People say that's because the oil spill and the attempted bombing are voter issues, environmental issues, national security issues. You know, I don't know about that either. An entire region just suffered one of the most costly natural disasters in American history. There are a plethora of environmental issues. Cars, businesses, semis full of cargo, raw sewage, and death flowed through our streets and now flow through the Cumberland River, a main artery of water in the center of this country. What I do know is that because we got skimmed over, our city did not get the thousands of volunteers Katrina got. George Clooney didn't come here to do a special. We held our own. At least Vince Gill did for us, God bless him, and it aired on our local TV station. We haven't got the outpouring that Haiti did, and we didn't get a president coming to shake hands of the people or walk through their neighborhoods. So we did what the volunteer state does. We formed groups, and regular citizens came out and helped each other. At our little site alone, the first day brought 30, the next day 60, and by Saturday, over 400 people came out and went into our neighborhoods to begin to rebuild. What I would like you to do is meet some of my neighbors from right here in good old East Nashville, Tennessee, USA. These are the people that Oprah and Obama didn't bother to come visit. This is their story. This is the story that no one bothered to tell. It, it's not like we just had a, an accident or a bad day. We were a part of a disaster that has affected a part of the country that, you know, will never probably be the same. I mean, hopefully we'll be better because of it. I think we will. I know my husband and I will. I know that we are learning lessons that can't be taught, that you can only live through, and that my husband's going to walk away from this like a better, stronger man. I know that I will, and my children will benefit from this from what he's going to learn and the relationships that he's going to forge and has just in the last couple of days that our family will benefit for a lifetime because of it. The couple across the street came over yesterday. So they've been working all day digging and digging and he's pulling out insulation and they came over to our backyard and said, we're taking a break. Where do we start? It's amazing. It just got the water out from under the house last night with a sump pump at about 8 o'clock. It was all out. You can, you can feel the buckling on this floor. Yeah. All this will have to come, all this will have to come down. I mean, they say it, it will dry out. It's just you're at a, you're at a, a race between time and the mold. <laughs> We just kept watching it rise and rise and rise and no, none of us knew when it was going to stop. And the water was coming down the front um, where the street is because the lawns couldn't hold it up there. So it, it was coming from every direction. But you know, when it's your home, you don't want to leave it. You want to save it and you want to do what you can. And so we stuck it out. Some of our neighbors weren't so fortunate and it's just heartbreaking to see the damage that they've had to ha deal with, but so many of them lost everything. Patrick and I have been like holding parties in our driveway, you know, cooking for everybody and, you know, making merriment so um, spirits are lifted higher. The family of mine stays here in this house. And do y'all, uh, do you have flood insurance? No, it went up. We had it for eight years and it was affordable and then the thing would come back and redone it. And we couldn't afford it. So the last year and a half, we haven't had any flood insurance. So all this is on us.
a little <laughs> bit left that we can maybe wash or something and kind of throw it around back here. Uh, Red Cross has been by to feed us and water us and Metro Police has watered us and looking out after them at night and uh, the help they put out the well appreciated. Uh, and the church has donated some clothes and got us some britches and stuff we can work in. And, and the kids are pitching in? Yes, the kids are doing all we can. Me and my wife had seven kids and she made for a household and stuff. Jason brought me in in a canoe two days ago and we rescued my kit. The water level got up to right along here in the house. So every, your TVs and everything is, and bedding, and everything is pretty well gone. All this stuff was jumbled up. This couch weighs a ton and it was against this wall. Really? This long couch was up and down through here. Oh and everything and, and everything else is jumbled. We have essentially done nothing back here. And you came in and just found it all this way? Yeah. As you can see, there's very little that you can salvage out of this. Your life and your memories and... I know. And then what's sad for our flood insurance is only going to pay for four feet of your Damages, and look how much damage I have all the way up. Was your, your, wow. So your entire home was underwater? Uh, they, I don't know how much they documented, but one of our neighbors came down the street on uh, Monday and said that he could only see, we have a 12-foot carport, he could only see about two inches of our uh, carport. Wow. Yeah. Just have to start all over again. Well, the main thing, we're alive. Fireman comes by to see me every day. And see, because um, I wouldn't go with him. And I said, oh, no, no, I'm not going. He said, you're going right now. I said, no, I'm not going. You go across the street and get her, get Ruth Byer and, and Sebastian the cat first. And then I will go with you. Uh, the water was right at, I've got a picture actually, the, where the water was right at the threshold. And uh, I was standing over on the road and I put a pebble down at the edge of the water and I was talking to a couple of guys and three minutes later I looked down and the pebble was about that far back in the water, you know. And so it was just continuing to creep up and it was just a really helpless feeling. You, you couldn't do anything, you know. You knew it was getting ready to go in right. and you just had to, had to just watch it, you know. But you know what, even even with this kind of tragedy, uh, what, what you find, I mean, you really start seeing the, the blessings. What a, what a gift the, the people have been uh, to, to come and, and just show up and, 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 and pitch in and help. You know, it's, it's been... I don't want to take from someone who needs it more. But at the end of the day, I keep telling my husband, we need it. And we, if we don't accept it, then those around us, we're going to... I'm sorry. We're going to put too much on our mom and our dad and our sister and our brother. Got a lot of people say the same thing. A, a guy at our daughter's school said, so many people keep saying, don't help us help that guy down the street. Don't help us help that lady across the street. But we all need it and we all need to accept it. And we're in an amazing part of the country. And that's one of the big blessings that I think, you know, we need to count. And, and I think if anything, this flood will make Nashville a bigger star than it already was. Yes, we are the volunteer state, but this time it might be bigger than us. So I'm asking you, pleading really, donate. Come here and volunteer. Buy our t-shirts, send goods, whatever you can do, but please do something. If you got a problem, don't care what it is. If you need a hand, I can assure you.